Okay, this is the Condor Pictus, sent to me by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Gary, you can't even see that sticker. Well, Dad, come it. There. Let's double up on those bad boys. SMKW.com sent this to me to check out. I really appreciate it. Doing a little sharpening on it. I did some serious testing on it earlier, and you're going to see all that. But let's get into this and talk about it. All right. So this is the Condor Pictus. It is, it's like a camp knife, bushcraft knife. I got my sharpening stones out of the way here. <clears throat> made, made by uh, Condor, of course, I just said that. It's 1095 carbon steel, check that out. Got hickory handles here. Celtic, Celtic markings here, pretty cool. Very nice, look at the brass liners, full tang knife. Super well balanced. Just a well-balanced, fairly light knife as well. Let's see how heavy this thing is. I'm, I'm going to let most of this video just be the chopping and the slicing and the whatnot. So I just want to get a kind of an introduction to the video for you here. So it's like 8.3 ounces. And for a knife like with that, what, what, what kind of, what are we looking at here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like six and eight blade right there one two three four five six yeah she has nice size blade good size knife for a camp knife if you think about it i mean if you're into that kind of thing i'm not super campy but i'm trying to be Let's check that out now you can see i did a little bit of ding there but i'll show you that later show you how it got there really cool dangler sheath on this thing oh man it's leather i've been really getting into some leather sheaths lately haven't i all right Check this out, just jams right in there, fits nicely. Get you a good lanyard here, pulls out of here really well. Slides in, pulls out in the usable position. <clears throat> the lanyards, or the, the sheath is awesome. It's got that Celtic stuff on there, got the condor. Got a little place for your bubble gum or your explosives. I don't know what you're gonna put in there. I guess you could, what is this, stuff? like carry it across the back, really cool guy style. If you wanted to, is that what that's for? Maybe lash it to something. It's very cool. Put it on your giant neck for a giant neck knife. I'm not sure how that would work. It's got the place for the fire starter here. And it's just really, really cool. You know what I didn't do? I didn't try the fire starter. Maybe we should try the fire starter on this thing. I don't know where the fire starter is. I always know where the fire starter is. The fire starter is always within danger range. All right, let me show you. It works. Let's see if it works on the uh, the knife here. Oh, 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 fire, fire. So it does work on the spine of that knife. Am I burning it myself? Probably. Doesn't matter. I got more where those came from. So it works with the fire starter if you got one. I don't even know what they're called. I should know, a stick of fire, I think is what the official term is. But we're gonna do some slicing on this, which I've already done in the future, but it's not your future, it's my future, my past your future, as well as the chopping. And just to let you know, this thing is still super sharp and easy to sharpen. This thing is easy to sharpen. This ding was, well, I'll let you go. I'll let you see it in here in a little bit, but just a fantastic knife. I really, really like this knife, and I'll show you why I like it right now. All right, we're going to see if the Condor Pictus can help you out in your camp kitchen. There's some brontosaurus burgers to cut into here, some side of beef, Fred Flintstone type of cuts. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to chop some, some wood with it and see how it will hold up as a camp knife. So let's get into this real quick, just check it out. All right. Cuts right through that. Now I'm not gonna do any crazy chopping. I ain't got time for that today. So we're just gonna kind of do some slicing. You see it slices really easily. Man, it's super sharp. Check that out. All right. What are we gonna do now? Just keep going through there. Now we gotta cut all this up. We're gonna make it chopped brisket. So all you brisket fanatics again, no worries. I know what I'm doing. I'm an expert. All right. Let's get this out of the way. Like that. 
<laughs> maybe, maybe just one or two of these. <laughs> Ow, my arms hurt. <laughs> oh, this blood in your eye. I like a brisket blood in my eye. I'm not sure that's good for you. <laughs> All right. But anyways, it, it cuts right through this brisket really easily. So you can use this as a camp kitchen knife. You can use this as a camp kitchen knife. And I'm betting we're going to find out you can use it as a good chopper. It's got that scandy grind kind of on it. So I'm betting it does all those intricate, you know, bushcrafting things you need to do as well. So that's pretty awesome. So it slice right through that. And would you, you could use this as an actual kitchen knife, a, a kitchen kitchen knife, which would be kind of fun. Have a cool looking Celtic, all these Celtic knots on your kitchen blades. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, let's see if we can just get through this thing. It really is not a huge problem getting through this. So, and this is really thick meat too. It's keeping my keep my fingers out of the meat and able to slice into this. So you got a camp kitchen, this condor pictus, the pictus. I was gonna say the condor pictor, but it's the pictus. It is gonna really work well for you in that situation. And we already found out it's a heck of a chopper. It's gonna have to. There you go. Oh, that was therapeutic. If you only knew what I was going through here at the house, you'd understand. All right, condor pictus. All right, condor pictus. Good for good for slicing up bear brisket. Let's go see what it does on the wood. All right, we're gonna try this condor pictus. See what kind of chopping it can do. Just kind of get an idea. <clears throat> pretty good in my hand it's not hurting or anything like that so the grip is pretty good all right all right so we just took it outside bang the mess out of it on that 2 by 4 now I'm not gonna lie to you it did bend it down right here so some part of that two by four got a hold of that edge. But I'll tell you what, the rest of this knife is still ready to cook. Now watch this. Let me check this out here. I did it earlier. <laughs> don't laugh. I don't know why it makes me laugh. It's so dangerous. It still shaves. I don't know if you can see the shave. It still shaves. It's still shaving even after all that. So it's still sharp on the places it's sharp at. I just got one ding there. The thing is really well balanced, really good in hand. And I'm telling you, now this might not be the optimal knife for you to take out in the woods. And, but you know what? If you really got to chop down a tree with your knife, go grab this monster. So now you got two condors, one strapped to each hip, like a wild Bill Hickok of knife guys, and just pull this monster out when you got to do some little intricate chopping, you know, chopping up your stuff. And then you got to chop through some Sasquatch femurs. Pull out this big old beast. Pull it with the wood buster. There you go right there. Wood buster femur chopper. As far as the Pictus, I love this knife. It's really light, really well balanced in hand. Feels good in hand. I let my wife hold it. She loved it. She loved the way, how light it was, how well balanced, and how it felt in hand. This will probably become part of my kitchen collection i just like using it i like using it a lot so let me know what you think do you like the pictus it went through the brisket really well and it did a lot of good chopping there and even after the chopping i'm i'm very i'm very confident let me see if i can find something to cut my wife went through and threw away all my coupons so i can't cut any coupons but let's see if we can get this 
edge to cut here a little bit on this paper. See, so it's still cutting on the parts where it can cut. So it's cutting, you know, cut, catching a little bit of those dings that have got in there. But look at that. That's, see, now it catches on the ding there. But after the ding, still really sharp. See? Look at that. So, this is a really good knife. And basically, for 200 and whatever, 30 bucks, you're walking out with both these monsters fully prepared for whatever you gotta do out in the jungle or the woods, depending on where you live. So you gotta chop up an alligator's foot right there. You know, gotta take down some fence lizards. Urgh. I love this knife. I love both these knives. I love what Condor does on these two. So I have no problems taking these out with with what I got to do out in the woods, which is not a whole lot right now for me, but maybe it'll increase and then y'all can see some serious action on these things. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you like this knife? Do you like, you gotta like this knife. What's not to like about that knife? That's an awesome knife. This is a great knife too. Tell me in the comments what you think. Is this, is this gonna ruin it for you? I mean, I was beating on a hard, hard two by four. So that's kind of unfair for that thing, don't you think? But the rest of the knife is beautiful. I mean, it held up nicely. It's great in hand and it's still almost an, as useful as it was a second ago. There's hardly anything you can't do with it now except cut through paper with that little ding on there. Do me a favor, hit the like button. Come over here, subscribe, hit the bell, and then check out the rest of my videos there. And I'll talk to you later.